Jed, welcome. Um, we're going to do a quick, quick chat on common CV lies. So things that we come across, things that we see um, on CVs, and maybe some tips for you to write your CV and uh, and help get that look in. Because as you know, it's probably the first step in, uh, in getting that job. So top top CV lies that we see, I guess, in the IT world especially, is. Um, Maybe embellishing a little bit too much on uh, technologies that you've used. Mm -hmm. Some people put maybe a, a skills matrix or things like that on their CV. Awesome. If you list every technology that is currently available in the free world. You're looking it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's, it sort of doesn't really make a cut. But like you said before the show, no one has really ever been hired off of a ridiculous CV. Just, just off your CV. So, In, in fact, even more so, yes. crap CVs. Mm. Or CVs that are uh, not really that tended to. Yeah. Uh, um, they're the, 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 the candidates behind that sometimes. Not that I mean, we're encouraging you in any shape or form to have a crap CV or not. We will help, you, we will help you have a better one. That's, but that's, those that's people, that, well, what I was going to say is the people that have had like not very good CVs have tend, tended to be like quite quite good candidates themselves, whether they're good developers or digital marketers or designers. This is probably an exception to if you've got a crap CV or not a great folio, you need to go back to that. Yeah. So I guess I guess the takeaway message for for more of the the developers or the you know other people out there in, in that IT sort of area would be accuracy, be honest, be upfront because we're going to ask you about it anyway. So if you say that you've used Python, and you apply for a Python role, and then we call you and you say that you've uh, you heard about it once through a friend, <laughs> it's not it's not the same. Doesn't so, really cut it. So no, be honest, no, but yeah, just be upfront. Yeah. Um, it's an agile term, be honest, be honest, be honest. Just put down exactly the text that you've used to build projects of any kind, whether it was a successful side project through to a successful commercial project. Just use, put down the text that you have used. In your, this, this is web developers we're speaking directly to right now. Put down the text that you've actually used to build something. In, in so I think that's what you're saying, right? Exactly, exactly yeah. what I'm saying. So that's one of the common, common CV sort of, I guess, mistakes or lies that we see in a way, um, and it's something that we do always, you know, ask about, we dig deeper, and your employer would too, so it's in your best interest to be, be a bit more honest, a bit more upfront, um, and if you do have questions about your CV, just ask us, we look at them all day long, so... There's a couple of ways you can contact us as well, we've so... Got, we've got some good tips on it, <laughs> yeah, what are the ways you can contact us? You can tweet us, you can't fax us because of where we live. Uh, 21st century. 21st century. Um, you can email us. We're all on our mobiles. We don't have landlines that go off at, at no one's attending them at after 5:30. We've got mobiles that attend to them. Text, nice. call, text, email. I already said that. Tweet, uh, Google, chat. We uh, even the Facebook page. Skype, you get us that. Um, anything. But anyway, yeah, get in touch with us. We're approachable. Yet yeah, very confidential. Very confidential. <laughs> and that's a wrap. First video of 2000. 15. Thanks, Buzz. To infinity and beyond. Right on. Carver mode, engage.